everybody, Dee Dee here today, and I am going to go through a tutorial with you on how I made this um, inspirational hanging inside this frame. This is one of those IKEA frames that are so popular right now. And uh, here you can see the IKEA frame, and I start with some watercolor paper and some bits and pieces from Seven Dots Studio, one of the brand new lines here. And here's back to my watercolor paper. It's already got some dots on it, some like little spritzes from Distress Stain Spray and Crushed Olive. But I, I just want to show you real quick. I spritz a few on there. I give it a couple seconds to kind of start to dry. And the color is so concentrated directly from the bottle like that. But then I pat some off with a paper towel and uh, then just heat dry it. And now I am measuring the opening for my Ikea frame so that I can trim my paper down and it hangs just inside. And I think it was like five and a quarter tall by three and a half-ish inches wide. And I've got some bits and pieces here that I've cut up and an old library card, some ephemera. Oh, and then I've cut some hearts out of the, um, out of the paper. There's a heart doilies, some May Arts twine, uh, I've got a little clay face and some other hearts that I've cut using the Tim Holtz Sizzix shapers and movers. I think that's what it's called, hearts die. Another doily. I'm just kind of gathering some things to play with in this kind of green color scheme here. And now I'm going to play around a little bit and kind of move some things around and it, this is really how my creative process goes. If you've never watched any of my other videos or you're not very familiar, I don't always start out with a plan. And even when I do start out with a plan, generally I end up just playing and kind of moving things around and seeing how they look, uh, trying different colors, different textures. I love different, um, I love different materials from papers to fabrics and plastics and like the little face that I end up using in this is it's a clay face and it comes from an artist named Mary Bogolazanak. I keep picking up the green that, that's out of the seven dot studio paper because it's so fun and here in Vegas we're kind of ready ready for spring a little bit our winter got cold this year. Right now I have um, kind of decided that I want my little face to have wings and at first I was going to make a picture frame based on love but now I am thinking about changing the, the outcome of my inspirational little picture and I'm giving my face some wings and I've got I've got the hearts that are die cut from the seven dot studio paper and then I've also got hearts that are die cut from an old atlas so they're white and I'm using those as kind of a second layer of wings behind the other hearts so as I layer them up it's a little bit of a shadow they're just offset and uh, it looks like cute little wings for my face and I'm just using a wet glue I love the way those look on the clay face. I also kind of play around with adding back in a little bit more of the green swatch, but in the end I end up just going with the green that's just on the wings. And I've got some 3D gloss gel here from Prima Marketing and Fina Bear. And it's really great for getting paper to paper and really getting heavier embellishments to stick down. So I'm using that as an adhesive for my clay face as well and then just tucking my hearts behind, uh, my wings, I shouldn't call them hearts anymore, my wings, and uh, I'll give my wings a little splattering of gel as well, and then everything just kind of tucks in and dries there. Oh, well, I guess I hadn't put glue down yet, or gel medium. That's right, I did pull back up, sorry about that, I did pull back up the May Arts twine, and this is it's a paper cording, this one, and it, it comes in all kinds of colors, but this is white, and I'm using the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple those on with super cute little staples. They're so perfect for this piece here. So as of right now, I've put down the doily, the hard doily um, with gel medium. Now I've stapled on my twine. Now I will... Um, put gel medium on the back of my clay face. You can see right there, it's it's got great body to it, which is good because then it doesn't level out and it'll it'll keep that adhesion 
between the clay face and the paper back. There we go, putting a little gel medium on the hearts, on the wings, and then sliding those into place. And now that that's done, I've gotten out some, um, some Tim Holtz rub-ons from the, the Nature line that he did. And um, there's a little bit of a struggle here. <laughs> As I pull some of these out, the paper backing comes off and they start to get stuck to my craft mat. But in the end, I think it it kind of it ends up okay. I, I end up salvaging them. Um, yeah, there you can see the paper backings have fallen off. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there they are. Okay. So I've got Wonderful, I've got Your, and then I have this Little Wings, and they're so cute. Just peel, um, the backing did stay on the Wonderful, so just peel the backing off of those, put them in their place, and then give them a really good rub down. And then you peel the plastic off the top, and basically you're just transferring ink to the paper, and it's like a stamp, um, but as long as you use the rub-on correctly, I should say, then everything everything's done, and there's not really much of a chance of a miss. Like, like if you were stamping, then you could get a double impression or anything like that. And um, you can also arrange the rub-ons all around. So this is what my picture fits into the frame like just almost perfect here and um, I'm gonna get out my crop a dial and punch a couple holes and you could use any hole punch and I did not line my holes with eyelets or anything but you surely could like if I had the right green I might do that but I certainly don't have that color green at the moment um, so punch a hole punch two holes and uh, then I've got some more May Arts twine this is the burlap string in green that's really similar to the paper and you could use um, binder rings here too, but I'm just going to use ribbon. I'm going to tie it in little bows and then tuck those behind, and that's it. I've got this great little inspirational piece that's going to sit on my desk and in my craft area, and uh, I can change it out whenever I like for different seasons, or maybe I want a different message or something like that. So uh, thanks for stopping by, and feel free to subscribe, and be sure to leave me a comment on the 7 Dot Studio blog. Um, you know, the companies, uh, company owners and, and uh, people sure like to see that we're inspiring you and that you're enjoying what we're doing for you. Thanks so much. Bye.